Hello! Today we're going to talk about guinea pigs giving birth and what you as the human need to do too. There's something very exciting about having a pregnant guinea pig in the house, and you're definitely seeing that new life come into the world when they give birth. Plus, it's a lot simpler than puppies or kittens, which is attractive if you are the parent. The first time, it's all excitement, but you're not quite sure what to do. So, let's talk gestation. As with humans, you may not notice much change in a female guinea pig's physique during the first couple weeks of pregnancy. Overall, guinea pigs may gestate anywhere from 8 to 10 weeks, depending on how many pups they have, more pups they have, shorter gestation period, and the more likely your guinea pig look like, looks like she's going to pop. Also remember, the older the guinea pig is, the harder this is on her body, and you should not breed guinea pigs over 6 months of age unless you're doing it under veterinary supervision. During gestation, your pregnant guinea pig should have access to increased amounts of food and water. She's growing the little pups and that takes a lot of energy. If possible, allow unlimited access to the guinea pig giving birth. Now, preparing for her to get birth. There are a couple things you can do for your guinea pig before the birth to make the experience more comfortable, which generally means it goes faster and is less painful or so it appears as a human. As you know, guinea pigs are suited to dwelling in burrows. When you put together your pregnant guinea pig's cage, you probably put it in a house or a log to mimic that feeling. However, most guinea pigs tend to get too wide to fit through those openings, especially in the last week or two of pregnancy. This issue can cause some anxiety in your guinea pig, since there is now no enclosed space for her, which is not a good thing. To solve this problem, take an old towel that you don't mind being nibbled and drape it over one end of the cage. If you're using a smaller cage, about half the cage will do. This covering should block as much light as possible from that cage section, and it will give her a safe feeling like she's just in a bigger burrow. Another thing you can do is ensure a stress-free environment as possible when your guinea pig is going to give birth. You may need to move any guinea pig she's living with to another cage, especially if they appear to be getting on her nerves. With less interaction, distraction, chances to be angry, the birthing process is more comfortable. The last alteration to the cage environment is ensuring that the pups cannot escape once they're born. At the guinea pig center, we usually stick removable plexiglass inserts between the pan and the cage wire to prevent the little pups from slipping through the chicken wire. It's important to remember that if a baby guinea pig can get its head through something, the rest of their body fits too, which can be bad, especially if your cages are at a height. Additionally, you will want to know about a small animal veterinarian, ideally one with after hours availability. Complications can happen during birth and failure to act may result in you losing the mother and having to hand rear the little pigs. The birth process. Generally, guinea pigs give birth in the daylight hours. Labor is typically a rapid onset affair. It's not like humans where it can be you know, 24 hours before you start dilating. Your guinea pig may squeak when it starts, they may not. For most guinea pigs giving birth, the labor is visible if you observe the guinea pig's sides, but don't move that towel. Guinea pig births are typically fast affairs. Uh, typically the first pup appears within the first five minutes of labor commencing, and then they deliver in a pretty rapid sequence after that every couple minutes. It's best if you do not interfere or alter the birthing environment unless you see something life-threatening to either the pups or the mom. If you have a labor that lasts more than 20 minutes, you should probably call the vet. The mother guinea pig will typically clean up the pups in between contractions and immediately following the end of the labor. You should not touch the babies during this process. It's bonding. It's important. Now, post-birth, guinea pigs are born with their eyes open and all their fur, unlike many other rodents, which has to be protected for several weeks while these things come in. These pups are therefore more curious than their 
rodent relatives. Typically within the first hour of birth, guinea pig pups are nosing food dishes, exploring the cage, playing with the water bottle. After about four hours, you can gently interact with the new piggles, provided you do not squeeze them or let them jump, because they will try to jump. The guinea pig giving birth will nurse the pups, even when they start getting into solid foods. Weaning typically occurs somewhere between week two and three, at which point it's essential to separate out the males because they become sexually mature. You really don't want to deal with inbreeding because they have no compunction about mating with their mother or their sisters. And that's the gist of what you can expect when a guinea pig gives birth. Remember, please consult your vet before breeding a guinea pig, and please reconsider breeding any guinea pigs that are more than six months of age or less than three to four months of age. Your vet can give you better guidance. All right, thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe below. Have a good day. Bye.